Sneakman. This is the first time these two have played this deep into the bracket. Well, it's the first time Sneakman has been this deep into the bracket to date. And using the Roy, a character we've not actually seen too much of from Sneakman. It seems to just be working out for him. And we see neither player wanting to, uh, to commit overly much to begin this. Honey, uh, Honey taking the first amount, uh, well, yeah, dealing the first amount of damage. Now 55% on Sneakman, but evening it up very quickly. Now Honey actually at a deficit. The side beat, trading with the, uh, the grab, trading with the jab it looked like. And the side B actually going to take the first stock for Sneakman here. 59% on him. 77 now after the uh, the rapid jab and getting caught by... I'm not sure if it was just the down B or if it was also the, the back air there. But I mean, it ended the stock after the uh, the F smash either way. And we're at a, uh, a two stock game. Uh, sorry, bear with me. Sorry. <laughs> I need to sneeze. Um, Honey dealing a lot of damage. That, the roller berry into the F smash. Gonna take the stock a lot quicker than the first one. And uh, we're seeing only 30% on Honey right now. Yeah, Honey... Honey seems to be moving a lot, well, as Inkling would, uh, is moving a lot faster, a lot more smooth than the uh, the Roy from the Sneakman is. And pushing away, pushing away a little bit with the uh, with the ink gun there. Not quite far enough. Still getting hit by the, uh, I think it was side B. And Sneakman, not in a fantastic position, but far from out of it. You know, we need a if we get an F smash at ledge or an up at a back air, we're gonna see the stock taken, and we've seen how like how well Sneakman can actually add on this percent. <laughs> Whoever wins gets to take Danny DeVito home. Wow, that's. Incredibly random. I've never seen. I've not seen Danny DeVito at all. But apparently, Danny DeVito has pledged himself to the winner of uh, Melting Point 69 to do uh, whatever they want. I guess uh, <laughs> we. But that was game one to Honey. On, I actually missed the uh, the original stage. I think it was PS2. Again, I'm being nice to Red. Oh no, I. I heard that that was a very early stock take for Honey. I didn't see what actually happened, but I can only imagine it was a uh, it was an SD for uh, for Skittle there. Not what you want to see at any point in time. You know, you might be wanting Honey to win, but you know, you never want it to be because someone SD'd. But uh, Stinkman, eighty percent. Uh, he's gained. He's 92% now. Gained onto Honey. -o. F smash is going to take the stock. A straight back air, maybe up air to back air will take the stock. Oh, but the roller sending Sneakman up, and Honey just dealing this damage, tacking it on bit by bit. Ooh. Not managing to scoop up because uh, Sneakman's shielded it, but not actually getting all that punished for it either. Forward air. Beautiful down air from, uh, from Sneakman there. Not actually getting a spike from it, but adding on a lot of needed percent. Now a 
Forward tilt is also going to kill. Up air is going to kill eventually. Not right now, but he's going to kill eventually. But that forward air is... Doesn't matter if it was a strong hit or a weak hit. That, that forward air was going to kill. But Honey going deep for that forward air kill. Honey now up. Two stocks to one. Even percentages. And the berry. Into the forward air from the mash out. Just tacking on this damage. And the ink as well as the rapid jab is just going to tack on so much more. Straight into the grab from Honey. Like Honey just seemed to like know where Skittle was going to be. Uh, Sneak Man was going to be. And, well, taking advantage of it just, just, just with a simple grab. Back air. Covering the standard get up from ledge. <gasps> Trying to go for the... Uh, for the... Uh, ledge trump there. That's what it's called. For the back air. Not quite getting it, but Sneakman tacking on percent again. <gasps> the dance around the ledge. Trying to make it ambiguous as to what he was going to choose. Honey... Mix, uh, picking the right option, despite Skittle uh, Sneakman not making uh, making it very apparent how he wants to play that. Up air's not gonna kill. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Sneak up air. It might have sparked, but it was not gonna kill. Oh, the back air though, beautifully weighted by Honeyo there. And the stage this time. Oh, we are going to be seeing Battlefield again. Uh, which I cannot actually find on Smash GG. Smash GG be actually good at anything challenge. Impossible. Battlefield, there we go. And, oh, we are seeing the Cloud counter pick here. Cloud Possibly um, a little bit of a weird pick here. Another another character we've not actually seen all that much from Sneakman. But, in this matchup specifically, does have access to limit. But, with the more linear recovery, I can imagine that uh, Inkling will have a better time trying to edge guard this character. And the up air. I'm... I'm not... I'm... I must have been looking away a little bit there. Because I did not see that amount of damage be put on where up air would actually kill. I know it's top platform, but still. I think it was like 120%. I sort of just missed while trying to battle Smash GG. <laughs> oh my god. I'm <laughs> so sorry for the hiccup. Um, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of liquid stuck in, uh, where it shouldn't have been, apparently. Sound a little bit, like, goofy. Uh -huh. No, that's, that's Banjo. Never mind. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> Back to the game. I'll stop embarrassing myself. <laughs> but, uh, Sneakman, not in a fantastic position. 140% now on Honey, but... 70% and a stock down for Sneakman. And the, the just land grab from uh, from Honey. And might have got limit there, but still straight into Honey's arms. And then into the blast zone. We're seeing Honey three stocks to one right now. Might be a death percent to whatever Sneakman can actually throw out, but playing incredibly evasive right now from the other side of the stage back air isn't quite going to take it and Honey's just taking this life and is just extending it as far as she can oh we're seeing we're seeing all these two throw out a couple of moves a little bit too unsafe from uh, from Stinkman that, uh, that forward tilt and that's the stock that is the set that is the Melting point 69 as being won by Honey O in a 3 0 sweep 
in Grand Finals. Which, I mean, like, like I said, that's the weekly. That's all we've got time for. 